Patricia Arqueola and uh, we are in the Shortest showroom in London. My studio we are designers and architects. Then in this case we had to do a work of architecture to create a, a kind of environment for a company that does um, appliances and quite technological appliances for, for cooking. Normally, those kind of uh, companies, they introduce the appliances inside a kind of uh, fake uh, kitchen, more or less, and I d disagree with that. And they understood that, and they agree with me, that we wanted to not create a, a kitchen, to recreate a, same, a certain flavor of what means uh, the space where you cook, but nothing else. And uh, we will play around the module of the technical items, we are going to have two sides. When part of the, the, the concept is the showroom already, like here, which is with all the items, and another side that will be the convivial uh, space where they are going to do chef uh, shows, uh, they are going to do lessons, they are going to do parties. It's going to be a place where people can come through the showroom and have comunque to have a kind of service. And uh, me, I still believe in that uh, kitchen needs to to be a mix of uh, elements which are very sophisticated because perhaps you need it because you want to have a certain kind of uh, fire but you don't mind about other things and you possibly it's in a small place it's living with other elements we have in home I think we have to, to break this argument of kitchens or the luxury, ki luxury kitchens big and for me very masculine I say it in a funny way or, or those kitchens which they try to be so nice but they are less big but then they are less important and that, that dimensional argument for me is uh, terrible, it's impossible and I still think that many of the materials that we live they don't need to be marbles and they don't need to be super stone so I don't think so too. We have the steel, which is, yeah, the, the, the items are really interesting. And then we have to have materials good to clean, and, but there are many other arguments for me. And then, for example, you live sometimes with someone else, that you are little, and the other one is tall, and we have to have more adaptable things. I, I, I still think that the, there's a lot of work to do. They, they asked us in the studio, in the last uh, 10 years of the studio, to work in kitchens, and I. I didn't find a briefing that was interesting. I had the luck before having my studio to work for Pierre Lissoni and the moment he was creating Buffy. And it's been interesting because it was the, the beginning of that kind of research and it was interesting in that moment. Now I think, I think I, we need no, so other conversations. I, we wait for them, possibly to approach the kitchen through Soltes, through a company that they only had to, to propose the appliances was a good point of view. And here, here we are. That's uh, the room for convivial situations. We are going to be proposing different services. And it's what I think these kind of companies that they do appliances. Um, normally, or you go in a place where they sell in kitchens, or you can go in a place where they can show into you the appliances, which is, I think, not enough. Then to, to propose eco services, I think, is, the, um, is what we are going to consume in future. But for time, I'm, I'm still thinking that we, we have to propose situations not so big. So I have a friend of me that I, I, I was in his apartment, and he had a kitchen, really, really simple. But he had um, the, the frigo for the wine. And they said, oh, what happened? And it was, for me, an expect, I said, but I'm stupid, it's perfect, Echo, because for him, this item, this expensive item, Komuka, was necessary because he understands a lot about wine, and for him, it's a, the most convivial like, um, uh, thing he has. Like, that, I think, is going to be more and more the future. I will like that they, they can go to a showroom that has a kind of life or a kind of... She can, can perform herself, but it's a place where the, uh, all the, the items they have, they are related and you can go and choose those technical things and say to your architect or to your friend or when you are choosing with your couple, you say, oh, no, but me, I want that thing which is a really performing one and I don't mind about that. I think we have to cross over many information cycle. Our apartments are not going to grow and uh, there are going to be always a lot of people moving to city, I think. Or, the cities are going to be comunque problematic and uh, interesting. In the city sense, they, the problem is always the space. 
Then for me to work on, on quality, only thinking about um, introducing the, the idea of dimension, I think is, is banal. Then we have to propose more solutions, echo. You know, they are different persons in, in, in the family. How many persons which, which you know, they, they live alone, but the, the Saturday or so Friday, they, they, or Sunday, they, they like to have the friends and the, they cook all, they eat all around the, the place for cooking. They, they are convivial, they still be in convivial places, echo, the kitchens. Then we have to take care, echo. But the dimensions, I don't think big. I don't, I don't think in big, echo, for kitchen meal. For me, it's not, it's not a monumental place. It's, the, it's a place where you can be together in some way.